Hey everyone, welcome to Cloud Champ. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn about AWS Code Commit. So AWS Code Commit is a managed service which lets you create Git repositories on the cloud. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn how to create Code Commit repository, how to generate credentials to clone the repository in your local machine, how to push files on this Code Commit repository and more options that Code Commit has. So let's start with the video. To get started on my AWS dashboard and I'm going to search for Code Commit. So code commit, it says store code in private Git repositories, which means you can create private Git repositories using code commit service. So now that I'm here, you can see there are no repositories created and to create a repository, you need to click on create repository option here. So to create, creating a repository in code commit is very easy. You just need to enter the name of the repository and the uh, description. So I'm going to add the name as my repo and the description as this is my repo for my app and I'm going to click on create repository here. Once you click on it, this it says successfully created the repository, but this is an empty repository. And if you want to clone this repository, you can use HTTPS, SSH and HTTPS with GRC or Git remote code commit. So these two options you can find on, on GitHub, on GitLab, Bitbucket as well. So similarly, you can clone your repository using HTTPS and SSH. So let's try to clone your repository using HTTPS. To clone, you need to require this command, which is git clone and the name of the, and the URL of the repository. So I'm going to copy this, open my terminal. Inside my terminal, I'm going to create a new directory for this. So I'm going to do mkdir code commit. All right, here I'm going to paste this uh, command git clone and the URL of my repo. So once I press enter, it's going to start cloning, but this requires you to enter the username and the password. So how would you get this username and password? To get this username and password, you need to use IAM service. So IAM is where you can generate credentials or the username and password required for you to clone this repository. And this username and password is specific for a particular user. So I'm going to go to users in, inside IAM and select the user for which I want to create the gate credentials. So I'm going to select my user, which is Nasi here and inside security credentials, scroll down. You can find this option SSH public keys for code commit and HTTPS grid credentials for code commit. So you have two options here. You can either choose to clone your repository using SSH. So where you need to enter your keys. So you need to generate the keys using uh, SSH key pair generation command, and then you need to enter the public key here. So that is how you can clone your repository using SSH. But here we are going to choose the HTTPS method. So click on this generate credentials button. Once you click on it, a username and password will be generated. So I'm going to use this username and enter it in here. So next I'm going to copy the password. So password is here. Once If I press enter, it should be cloned. So it says warning you appear to have cloned the empty repository. And if I do ls la, you can see my repo is here, which means we have successfully cloned our repository, which is empty right now. So you can see it is empty. That is why it's shown, it has shown us this warning, but we have successfully cloned our repo and now we are inside our repo. So you can see it is a got .git repository file, but no files present. So let's go and create a new file uh, and then see how we can commit or push to this repository. So I'm going to create a new file, name it nano test.py. And in this I can type anything, let's say print command print subscribe to cloud champ. All right, this is okay. So I'm going to just save this. And right now we have a file named as test.py. Let's push this file in our repository. Right now the repository is completely empty and I want this file, the test.py file from my local machine to be pushed on my repo, which is on code commit. So I'm going to do git add and the name of the file. So test.py. Once I do that, you can check the status by running git status and it says one file is to be committed. So now let's go and do the git commit command. So git commit hyphen M and message is going to be add test file. It can be anything. So add test file, add test file. Once I do that, it's going to be committed and now I can push it. So git push should push this file from my local to my uh, repo after I put my username. So I need to put the username and the password again. So I'm going to go to my IAM, copy this. I can also save this credentials if I want to, but as this is for demo, I'm going to 
and delete this later on. So this is the username and this is the password. So once I do this, it should be pushed to my repo. Now it's, you can see it says pushed and if I want to check it in my code commit dashboard, I can refresh this page and a file should be shown here. So once after my refresh, you can see a file is present here, which is test.py and inside test.py, which we have the same message, which we entered, which was subscribed to CloudChamp. And if you want to check the commits, you can click on this. Uh, you can see all these options here. So commits are going to be shown here, any commit that you made. So you can see this is the latest commit, which is add test file. And if you have any extra branches, you can find all the branches here. Right now, we might have only one branch, which is master branch. If you have any pull request created, you all pull requests are going to be shown here or if you want to create a new pull request you can do it from here but pull request requires two branches so we only have one so we don't need we don't have anything to compare so that's okay so these are all the things if you want to let's say modify this file so I, let's say we want to modify the file and then commit the changes how way can we do this so i'm going to do nano test.py and and let's modify this file So now that I've changed this, if I do git status, it will show me that this file has been modified and I, I can then uh, commit and push this to my repository. So I'm going to do git add test.py and then git commit. Modified. So git commit hyphen m modify test file and then git push. Once I do git push, it's going to ask me for the username and password. Every time I do clone or push, I'm going to enter that. So username, password. Now that we have made a new commit, we should see the extra commit in our uh, commit section here. So we should have two commits now. You can see there are two commits. So everything uh, can be seen on the code commit dashboard. You can see the code has been updated as well. So test.py now has the message subscribe to cloudchamp and like this code commit video so, so this is how you can create a code commit repository generate credentials clone the repository in your local machine push the files from your local to your repository and let's see what are the other options that you can use with code commit so code commit is aws managed service so you have different features like integration with services like lambda uh, code deploy or other cicd tools so let's see what are the features that we have so here you have notification sections. You can create notifications that you can receive on your emails using SNS. Uh, so you can create notifications on it, actions like on commits, on pull request, whenever the status is changed, whenever the rule is override or all of these options. So you can create notification on each of them using SNS or using AWS chatbot, which uses Slack. Next we have is events or you can create t triggers. So let's say you want to create a trigger or you want to run a Lambda code whenever someone push the code in this repository. You can do that. So you have two options here using either Amazon SNS or using Lambda. So you can create a trigger based on the events that has been happened. It can be anything. So events can be either uh, pushing to an existing branch, creating a new branch or deleting, an, deleting a branch. Uh, you can create event for that. So uh, this is all. Uh, I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, you can let me know in the comment section. I'm going to post more videos on AWS code pipeline and AWS code build. So please subscribe to CloudChap if you haven't. I post videos on AWS cloud DevOps tools like Terraform, Ansible, Kubernetes. So please subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.